Elsewhere, the Kogi state government has raised an alarm over what it described as a desperate attempt by criminals masquerading as politicians to tarnish the image of the former governor of the state, Yahya Bello, for selfish reasons through the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The state government says it's in its desperation, which would leave Nigerians wondering who exactly is afraid of Yahya Bello, the FCC has, in an amended charge, accused the former governor of diverting Kogi state government funds in September 2015, four months before he assumed the position of a governor. It said this was not only laughable, but portrayed the FCC, according to the state government, as an agency infested with persons whose intents disagree with the noble intention of Mr. President to defeat corruption in Nigeria. A statement signed by the Commissioner for Information in Kogi State, Kingsley Fawo, said the fact of the FCC in charge describing Yahya Bello as being at large is ridiculous and laughable. The state government warned political actors to steer clear of Kogi State affairs and desist from the campaign of calumny, as the state has not said its money is missing. Well, let's get back to our coverage of the Equus uh, meeting holding in Freetown. I'm joined.